Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see about how we can continue the script repeatedly and repeatedly until you say exit the script. In the sense, the script whenever so we see that uh, if conditions are the um, like if else conditions, while loop, for loop, okay, case statement, but all these scripts like whenever you wanted to do like it's a one time like uh, it should like to uh, execute something then execute and uh, exit the whatever it is the store statement or false statement conditional or unconditional whatever it is but this script which we are going to see that it's a continuous statement until and unless you say uh, i don't want to continue continue with that script or i want to exit then the script will be exit with the options so how this continue statement is going to work so this continue statement can be utilized with the for loop or while loop or um, any other loop statements like until loop kind of stuff so we are going to see that how we are going to do that example say so continue statement here i'm going to do something like <coughs> if example i am using while loop okay while so whatever the something i would like to do over here then so what is going to do so do something what it is so then the condition okay if and execute some commands based on that condition something like this command one command two something like this and it will ask you to after this do you want to do you want to continue then if say yes then it still continue the loop again and again and again and again 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 and again so if you say no i don't want to continue then it exit from the script so this is the continuous script so which we are going to see over here in this example so let's say template so i am saying that um, continue script okay and i am going to edit this script continue let's say that so i am going to write some example over here so which is not a uh, regular one maybe so I am saying that so in the user input I am asking the user input saying that if the user enters any number less than 50 then it should display the square of that each in the sense whatever the he, he mentioned that square of that value so that should be continued as long as the user wishes so I am saying that uh, with while loop continue statement okay which while loop and continue statement i am going to say so here what i'm what i'm going to do it so i'm going to do um, example say something they are going to answer with uh, any example so i'm saying that um, their options their option is whether it is a yes or no okay i'm saying maybe opt or something like this so option while i'm saying if the option whatever the option e provide is equal to y r capital y equal to capital y then it should do this so enter say echo iphone e please enter the number so what are the number it is so then what happens it should read that value and store into the number value and say i am saying uh, if condition or here dollar number is less than or equal to so our condition is that 
whatever they provide the value it should be less than 50 if it is not then the loop will not continue over here then the square it should make over here it is that and I'm, I'm using xpr command over here and say dollar number into dollar number so this makes the square value over here equal square of provided number dollar num is dollar sequence so the square number what i have provided over here it is that square of provided number the number whatever the number they provide 50 is this one okay so now i'm saying else if they provide the number maybe not number not in the given range not in the given range fi then again i am saying that they wish to continue over here okay maybe another option one over here i am saying if the option is equal to whatever the answer they provide okay echo i am asking the user do you want to continue yes or no okay i am saying yes or no i am asking whether he want to continue yes or no so if he, he says yes then it keep on continuing the script will be executed again back or else it will exit the things so i am saying over here it is that it should be stored into the some wish is wish value so if i am again validating using the uh, the statements so if dollar wish is equal to small y or capital y which means that any any maybe he types uh, small value or capital value whatever it is so if it is small or capital value then what it should do then continue so the continuous statement what happens here it is that it goes again back to the continuous statement and it keep on asking the enter some values over here then if they wanted to exit thank you for exiting thank you for exit or thank you for exiting anyway so i am writing over here it is that exit and i am closing the fi over here done so the first loop i am going to explain over here it is that this is the continuous statement okay so the continuous statement how it works okay let's see over here that is in the look over here how it's going to work so first of all we are asking that the option whatever the option uh, we are asking that if it is yes or no he says the option is yes sorry something wrong or here so it should not be assigned the y value right because it is continuous because yes it is continue value okay so the first of all it is continuing the value over here so by default it is saying the option would be yes then if it is y small y or capital y then so what it's going to do over here it is that do ego please enter some number okay and say that this value what are the value they entered i'm storing over here into the dollar num variable and the dollar num variable i'm verifying is that if the dollar dollar num value is less than and equal to 50 less than or equal to 50 then do number the number value over here into that number okay and square of the provided number so what is the number you provided that will be displayed over here the square value oh, it will be displayed over here and if they provide number more than the 50 
then it should be says it is out of range okay which means that number not in the given range again there is going to be asked their options do you want to continue then say if they says their issue is to be yes or capital y or small y then the continue statement will continue from the first again again it will ask you for the number they enter so it's keep on looking if they say no then the wish is not validating either small y or the capital y it's going to be exit the else statement and the script will be exit from its loop so that is this about this uh, script or uh, the continuous statement and we are going to see over here let's say as such the continuous statement over here please enter some number so i am providing 4 so square of the 4 number is 16 do you do you wish to continue and say if i say yes again okay so maybe the continuous statement we have provided the default value over here so the option would be it should ask over here so and the continuous statement we are too many arguments actually this one is not required over here because the option we are not taking so let's continue over here say 45 the square of this one yes then please enter the number again i am saying maybe uh, 23 again it says yes then let's keep on continuing like this if i enter the 51 number so that value is not in range again do you want to continue yes then if we, if i say no then the script will be exit from its loop so that is about the continuous statement over here so so we made the one mistake is over here it is that the option here which is not required actually because we are continuously asking the user over here uh, whether he is you want to continue yes or no then it is keep on continuing the uh, while loop so until the user say i don't want to continue again so if you want to do any repeated task again and again and again and again then this continuous statement will be very useful for the uh, users or you can use this in the shell script to write it that's about the continuous statement hopefully you understand uh, i try to explain better way okay thanks for watching please comment your uh, um, question on the comment box please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and video courses on the courses so there are more upcoming courses on this pipeline so it will be published soon as soon as please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask